The evidence will show you that ex-President Trump was no innocent bystander. The evidence will show that he clearly incited the January 6th insurrection. It will show that Donald Trump surrendered his role as Commander-in-Chief and became the inciter-in-chief of a dangerous insurrection. And this was, as one of our colleagues put it so cogently, on January 6th itself, the greatest betrayal of the presidential oath in the history of the United States. To us, it may have felt like chaos and madness, but there was method in the madness that day. This was an organized attack on the counting of the Electoral College votes in joint session of the United States Congress. Let's start with December 12th. You will see during this trial a man who praised and encouraged and cultivated violence. We have just begun to fight, he says, more than a month after the election has taken place. On December 19th, 18 days before January 6th, he told his base about where the battle would be that they would fight next. January 6th would be wild, he promised. Be there, we'll be wild, said the President of the United States of America. And that too turned out to be true. You'll see in the days that followed, Donald Trump continued to aggressively promote January 6th to his followers. The event was scheduled at the, at the precise time that Congress would be meeting in joint session to count the Electoral College votes and to finalize the 2020 presidential election. In fact, in the days leading up to the attack, you'll learn that there were countless social media posts, news stories, and most importantly, credible reports from the FBI and Capitol Police that the thousands gathering for the President's Save America March were violent, organized with weapons, and were targeting the Capitol. This mob got organized so openly because, as they would later scream in these halls, and as they posted on forums before the attack, they were sent here by the President. They were invited.